In this video, we will create a production container for this uh, React app and uh, we will deploy it to Google Cloud, AWS and Azure. So let's start. First, I'll create a file called Dockerfile. And uh, of course, make sure you have uh, installed uh, Docker in your machine. And uh, in the Docker file, we have to s start from the uh, container itself. What type of container will it be? And we will start with from. This container will be a node container. And uh, here I will specify the version of node. So I will pick 15.4 and uh, I will name it as build. Uh, I will explain uh, later why I named it like this. So let's start with this uh, container. Uh, we have to specify the working directory. I will call it app. So you can put whatever you want here. And let's copy the packages, the JSON to that uh, uh, working directory. So this means uh, we have to copy this package.json dot means uh, the working directory here. So I will add a star here. The star means uh, that we can add anything uh, in between package and json. Uh, this means that we will copy package.json and also package log.json. So we copied those files. Then we have to run npm install. So this is self explanatory. So we have npm already installed in the container because we are using a node environment here. So that's why this is uh, important. After we installed all the packages, we have to copy again all the files to the working directory. So this means all the other files. We have to copy them to the working directory. And then we have to build the container. So run npm run build. So if we go to package.json, we have a build uh, script here. And uh, what this will do, it, it will create a, a distribution folder. So let's run that command npm run build. So we can uh, visualize that folder. So we have a build uh, folder here, which uh, will have all the necessary files. And uh, we uh, completed the first stage. So uh, this will be a multi uh, stage uh, Docker build, uh, which means that uh, we will have another stage. So uh, we have all these files inside this Docker container, but we need only the build folder. So uh, there is no need to keep all of them. Uh, we can uh, have a smaller container. And to do, to do that, we have to uh, add another from here. And this col container will have uh, Nginx. So I'll pick the latest version. So if I want the latest version, I will just uh, add nginx here, or I will add uh, 1.19. And uh, in this nginx uh, uh, container, uh, we need to add here, I will create another directory, nginx. And here I'll create a file nginx.conf and uh, here I'll paste this uh, configuration. So th there's a lot of text, uh, but uh, you can uh, copy this file uh, on the source code in the video description. So uh, this is required to access the file index.html directly here. So the build has index.html and all the JavaScript files that we need. So uh, we have to copy this file to this uh, nginx container. So copy nginx 
nginx.conf to etc nginx nginx.conf so we added our own nginx configuration then and the second uh, step is to add uh, the build folder to uh, the nginx html so that's why we name this as build here so here i will copy from build so this is a command from this uh, container here which has this build folder we'll copy up build we specified the working directory to be up so it uh, makes sense that uh, the uh, build folder is up slash build and we have to copy this from user uh, user share nginx html and that's it so this is our uh, uh, docker container to build this react app uh, in production so uh, to run this uh, simply run docker build uh, i will specify the name for this container so to specify the name for the container you have to add here minus t and uh, the name of the container i'll specify it to app then we need the context which is uh, this uh, directory so we specify it with dot and that's it so we'll build this docker file and we will assign it a name to app let's build it so it's building now the container has been built now it's ready to be deployed but before we deploy it let's see if uh, this is running uh, fine but uh, by running it on the browser so to do it run docker run our app but uh, we have to specify our port so minus p here and uh, the port of our container will be 80 so this will run on port 80 and uh, uh, this is the port of our browser so i'll put 80 it will work on my machine but if uh, it doesn't work on your machine you can put another port like 888 doesn't matter so i'll put 80 here and uh, this uh, will uh, run our docker container now i'll go to my browser run here localhost just localhost because 80 is the default port and we can see our react app so we uh, created a docker container to be deployed now and now let's deploy it i will close uh, this uh, ide because we don't need it anymore so i'm logged into my azure portal here and uh, before i create anything make sure to have uh, installed the azure cli so download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions you will have uh, access to this az command which uh, it will show these options so before uh, uh, so let's go back to the azure portal and uh, we'll create a container registry so we don't have any container registry yet so let's create a container registry so uh, i will create a container registry here the resource group i i have a demo demo resource group here which i added just the name the registry name i will call it app so it needs uh, to have uh, five characters so i will call it my app uh, already in use so my container okay it's container app so which name is not used so my container app i will use this uh, name and uh, for the location you can pick your location for this sku i will select the ba basic version let's create it 
and uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry and now that we created our registry uh, we need also to log in so uh, first we have to log in uh, via azure like this easy login so we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to microsoft azure so as we can see uh, it uh, shows this data so after we log in there we have to run this other command so uh, azure uh, azure container registry login and here we need the name which was which was up so let's copy it also so go to the resource and let's copy the url which is uh, this one so Uh, we don't need the suffix so let's log in so this will allow us to push the docker container to azure so we successfully logged in and uh, now that we logged in we can uh, push our image to push our image first we have to tag the image so docker tag the name of our container is up and uh, i'll paste again this uh, url which i copied and uh, we need to add in the end slash up so this is uh, our uh, repository here so i added this and uh, after we tag we have to push it so let's push it and now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure uh, container registry. So let's wait till it's completed. So it is completed. Now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories. This is our app repository and uh, here we have our image. So this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name so i'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now so let's create a container instance i'll select the same resource group uh, we need the container name the container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to azure container registry and we have our uh, container app so uh, we need to enable uh, admin here so let's click learn more and we have to run this command so uh, I will copy this command and I will run it here so we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly not sure if we need the uh, my container up so i made the mistake here it should uh, be with uh, one m not two m's so it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it so uh, do we need to refresh here i will refresh and i will select this resource group i'll select up here registry and now it is selected so uh, everything is correct i'll change the size here i will keep everything minimal so 0.5 is a uh, minimal uh, memory so i'll select this review and create uh, also i think uh, i forgot something so uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80 so by default is automatically mapped so we don't have anything to change but if your container port is different we need to select here the uh, the other port so 80 is correctly and uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else let's create it
So deployment is in progress. The deployment is complete. So let's go to the resource. And uh, we have a public IP address here. So we can copy this IP address. And if we go to that IP address, we can see our app deployed. So this is how we deploy a Docker container to Azure contain container instance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.